Hello, my friends. Today, what's up for discussion is total body strength with one exercise. Everything in the whole body activated with one exercise. Be back in a flash to show you how this is done. But first, remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell so you're on top of everything. Years ago when Carl Gotch alerted me to the reality of this old-time strongman named Max Sick, he was much more than a strongman. He was a muscle control expert. He could make any area of his body jiggle. His pecs, his biceps, his triceps, whole body, scap, anything got it activated and could wiggle it. Well, guess what? In his book, in his book, Maxick talked about doing the total body flex to get everything going. So take your pick, what is that? That is, instead of working on controlling all these various muscles and getting them to flex and, and to pop and move, what you start off with doing is tensing and flexing the entire body. So how this works is the easiest area to know that you're flexing or tensing is your hands, isn't it? And the furthest point away from the body is going to be the feet, correct? So I want to first start off with my hands and then my feet and pulling my toes in. And then now I'm flexing my abs, my glutes, pulling up on the sphincter squeezing my buttocks, squeezing my thighs, my calves, my abs, my lats, my shoulders, my pecs, my neck, even my tongue by pushing that to the roof of my mouth. And you breathe naturally. As you flex. <sighs> then you breathe out and relax when you're finished and you should feel an invigorating blood flow going through the whole body. So he, again, here's how we do this. Hands, feet, and now everything in between. Abs, glutes, thighs, calves, lower back, pecs, lats, traps, neck, and even get your tongue in. Now, how hard should you flex and for how long? Well, that depends. That depends. I would start with 20, 30%. 20%, not 100%. 20 to 30% and do it for 6 to 10 seconds. And take a rest and see how you feel. Did your energy pick up? Do you feel some blood flow to the noggin and so on? then you could do a little longer. Maybe you go 20 seconds, maybe you go 30 seconds, and you can ramp up the intensity. But you never really do 100%, at least not for longer than a second or two. Ideal is to stay in a range of, if you have severe injuries, you're looking at 15%. You don't want to flex so hard that you aggravate an injury. And then you've got 30, 40%, 50%, 60%, 60%, and so on. But now the time under tension is going to be reduced. So once we get up there in the 60% to 80%, it's going to be a shorter flex. So you can stand in front of the mirror every day and look at your body. And, and, one, two, just two second flexes. One, one, two. One, two, and then you can look, and now you got to regulate your breathing, and you go a little longer, let's say 10 seconds. And let yourself relax. Now, what is the value of this? What is the benefit of this, besides making you stronger? Well, in order to control your muscles, in order to control your tendons and ligaments, in order to get that internalization 
of strength. You've got to know the difference between tension and relaxation. So consciously tensing your body, deliberately tensing your body, is going to be followed by relaxation. So it's training your central nervous system to recognize, oh, I'm getting tense, I'm getting worried, I'm getting anxious. And then you go, oh, relax, let it go. So if you're an athlete, if you're a martial artist, you compete, there's going to be those moments where you start getting tense and unconsciously you start flexing and tensing when you don't need to. You need to just be relaxed. Everything settled. But not relaxed to the point of limpness, just not tense. Not too tense or not externally tense. Internally, yes. Ready to go. Externally, soft and fluffy so that you can move with speed and power. That, my friends, is how you do it with nothing in your hands other than your imagination. Same thing can be done with this magic little wash rag. See, I did this where everything is being condensed inward, but it can do the same thing by pulling apart. So same thing, get the hands going, get the feet going, That was about six seconds. Get the idea? So how many different positions could you put this, this washcloth in? In front of your body, behind your buttocks, in front of your body here. Many different positions. So the variety is endless. That's a wrap for this kick-ass videos, my friend. Other than to say, if you want some coaching, if you want me to help you go to the next level and the next level and the next level, then go to my website, mattfury.com, and you'll see some linkage there to apply. Also, we have my membership site, furyfaithful.com, where I give much more detail on the things I'm presenting in these videos. Make sure you check that out as well. And that's a wrap. Later. And remember to kick ass and take names.